Good readings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Fallen Haven. Alright, let's finish this turn. Time for the computer. Luckily, the enemy is a lousy shot. Alright, so essentially what we're mostly having to deal with is these speeder bikes. They have a ridiculously long-range rocket attack on their vehicle. Which can kill my infantry quite handily. Alright, let's snipe this turret. I would... I really want you to actually hit that thing. There, that got it. All right, fall back. Facing doesn't matter for the tank, for the units, luckily. But all right, can I hit you? No. No line of fire. This tank took a couple of hits. Its uh, armor is down to 45 compared to where it was at 75. Uh, losing one tank is not an immediate problem. in there. Just make, uh, let's just make sure that the tanks are out of sight and not clustered too much. concern ourselves too much with what's happening over there because we can pretty much head straight for the goal. We can't shoot at the goal but we can still go straight to the goal. Hmm. But I'm completely out of decoys. See if we can lure that thing out a bit. Hey! <laughs> Victory! Ah oh, well, we lose a tank. Eagle Nest, now ours. We can equalize this a bit. So we have our first... Our first actual research province. And looks like most of the buildings were flipped to us. Well, I think all of the buildings were flipped to us. Alright, so... Actually, we don't have to do anything about that. Yeah, neat. Alright, let's get our... Vehicles up. Vehicles are pretty much immediately repaired upon the end of the battle. Then we should go into the strategic mode. Now I want these tanks with me on the next coming battles. Or for the most part. 
So we got uh, five units. Let's also bring the light tanks. They've got the most experience. One more. Right. And the rest of you mooks can stay here and defend the province. Alright, so... Let's launch the dropship back to base. And let's start setting up over here. Now, I don't really feel like setting up any... Uh, any mines, really, beyond what we already have. I mean, we certainly can, but it's not necessary. I want to focus on the research centers, besides we don't really have that much points. Right, we're already out of points. Can we set up some extra defenses? Now, in practice, you probably don't want to set too many uh, guns next to each other. It helps in the defense a little bit early on. But once the enemy starts having artillery or vehicles that can function like artillery, it pretty much becomes pointless. Alright, let's head back to base. There we have produced some units so we can bring them all out. Some light units. Alright. And that's pretty much all we can do. Alright, we, we should have now a scanner range of the uh, neighboring provinces to the uh, Eagle Nest. Uh, nothing much useful over here. I mean, the average provinces are still nice. Not great though. I mean, and having energy-rich provinces doesn't really do much for you, except reduce the amount of uh, power stations you need to keep the uh, place running. Uh, even so, I have to pick my targets somewhat carefully, because I just don't have quite the numbers I need in some instances. For instance, there's 10 units outside. And the longer I uh, wait, or are unable to attack, the more units are built up, because uh, while these units, uh, these um, great provinces are essentially cut off from supplies from orbit, they are still able to build uh, factories on their own, which they will do. Now, I don't know how much they can actually produce, but let's just say, the longer you wait, the more difficult it becomes. I also need to start thinking about defenses in the capital, because uh, the enemy can strike there as well. There's not really any technology close by, so let's just head for the next turn. Alright, so reinforcements have arrived. Yay! Alright, they have also not done anything. Presumably they have sent their dropship also back to the capital. They have some more money. I'm thinking we'll probably want to get Cartus on. And High Point at some point. I mean, getting up to Knuck would be useful because the special units. Getting some extra research points would also be nice. But I kind of want to get over to Kinnabal so I can get some free resources and then build up. However, that is a long way away to go. And getting these special units under my control would be useful. Because while the tanks that I have are neat, they're probably... Enough to take on the rest of the planet. Alright, so let's get some more units in there. Alright, we have some units in there. Eh, get a sniper in there. Now, I have built a lot of uh, infantry here, that's probably not the most efficient use of my resources. 
but they are very cheap and I can spam them quite a bit now uh, I need to have artillery so let's get some let's get some built artillery will really help especially in the early game but whoops want you go away um, what was I saying the artillery will help especially in the early game but you do need to protect it because it has fairly limited abilities and it's also very expensive um, but I should be able to now build another research facility And uh, let's launch the dropship over there and let's bring both of them actually. I can send them to different locations I think, but it's not necessary in this case. Um, if I do want to set up some defenses, how would I do that? I can't right now. Alright, well. Next turn. Carter Stone is under attack by us. Good, that's what we were trying to do. Well, see, they were building a factory, so they will soon, they would soon have the ability to fight us. They do have a uh, artillery piece. Not seeing anything particularly dangerous on the field. The uh, this unit will be annoying. Other than that, they just have some light attack vehicles. Well, they're not light attack vehicles, but essentially that's their function. Also, this button here. If you have no place to drop your dropship, you can use this to auto-destruct. Plan ahead, essentially. Now, at the moment, I have all the advantage in the world so I will use it no. my tanks are slightly out of our reach but I can one shot one of those vehicles easily Hover tanks should also be helpful, but they don't currently have the range what I need them to do. So let's spread out a bit. Oops. Um, you can show that they have enough spaces between them. And we'll use our light vehicles as a screen for whatever comes up in front. Because that's essentially their function. At least until we can afford to build our own tanks. Now I could blast off my dropship if I was worried about their defenses, but not really. I mean, there's not even any real defenses over here. I mean, there's turrets over here, but I can ignore those. I really just need to destroy all their units. So let's see what they do. These humans are terrible shots. Alright. Do try to hit.
let's keep moving forward. A range radius would have been nice, but... Hmm. We'll make do. And then we just have to focus on the units that are left. Once I've killed all the units, the province should just resign. attacking us over here. There's no units over there, so it's just this one. Very cheeky. Now it's dead. You're in a big tank. Hit! Thank you. Alright. Well, he's got no uh, action points, but that's fine. At that range, the, uh, he can't use his artillery blast. Might be too close to the turret. In the meantime, let's keep moving forward. Incentive to give up. No line of fire. All right, all right, all right. I think that should give the message. The fire until the end, eh? Foolish. They surrender, good. Yay, we got some extra credits. Hmm. Yeah, sweet. Right, so this is really the first province we can actually properly exploit for resources. Um, can we boost this? Yeah, all right. So next next turn we'll get some more. So each province has a, um, a technology level, which I think we get bonuses from if we capture it. But yeah, at the moment most of the neighboring provinces really are not that brilliant. 
However, that'll have to do for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.